rid of something you wanted to say and I didn't give you a chance. Well, well I, the, the main thing that I want to emphasize, you asked me a, a little earlier about which one of these plays was my favorite play I and why. You're <laughs> no. Um, I guess I've, I've, I've written a play called The Emperor's Last Performance, dealing with the first famous black actor, Charles Sidney Giblin, Paul Robeson, Burt Williams, uh, surviving the Nipka, dealing with uh, uh, life in the downtown Skid Row area. But my favorite play is called Catch the Tiger, that deals with Marcus Garvey and Jager Hooper. Well, as a young man, the first major case that he had, they sent him from Washington, D.C. To New, to New York to neutralize Marcus Garvey and the Universal Negro Improvement Association because they felt that Marcus Garvey at that particular time, uh, because he wasn't born in the United States and had traveled a lot, he had a, 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 a better international understanding of most of our local African-American leaders at that time. they could keep the African-American leaders thinking about what's happening in the United States and not connecting things on the international basis, they were no danger to the capitalistic economic system, right? So uh, uh, Hoover, he come to New York, he uh, 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 come with a plan. So what his plan was this, first of all, he had to know the inside outs of the Universal Negro Improvement Association. So Hoover, he gets this, um, this mulatto doctor in Harlem, and he put him inside of the, of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, and he give him the code name, Confidential Informant Number 800. Really? Yeah, and so while, while there, right, 
This particular individual, because he was well educated, he was able to move up into the inner circle of the Universal Negro Improvement Association. So he was able to know where all of the weaknesses and the strengths of the organization, where all of the potential fractions was. So he reported all of this back to uh, Jago Hoover. And so when Jago Hoover studied all of his information, he come up with the concept that he kept intact throughout his life and even today. It was called the concept of infiltration and disinformation. In other words, he would infiltrate a particular organization making sure that the person that he infiltrated, that he used was well educated so he can move up into the inner circle of the organization. And then through the concept of infiltration and finding out who the major players was, the potential fractions, he come up with the concept of disinformation to play them off against each other to keep them from achieving their major goal. Basic and, fundamental of art of war. Yeah, the art of war, etc. Marcus Garvey is dealing with long-standing issues of Negro injustice. What Negro injustice? Their lives are far better here than any place else in the world. Better than Africa, than the West Indies, or South America. They are American citizens and entitled to certain inalienable rights. They have to learn first to control themselves. Oh, look at Elaine, Arkansas. Negro rioting, property damage, over 200 deaths. Thousands left her. Chicago, 65 deaths, property damage. Thousands left homeless. East St. Louis, hundreds of lives lost, and thousands left homeless. Yes, but some of those riots weren't caused by people like Marcus Garvey, but white folks not wanting Negroes to get jobs. He's a radical. A lot of these Negro radicals are out to create problems. I don't know which is worse, radicals or communists. Yes, the communists. But Garvey's no communist. And how do you know that? He's into developing businesses, Negro business. He set up a network of businesses owned and staffed by Negroes providing goods and services to Negro customers without relying on white management, staff, or customers. Five men on him around the clock is not sufficient. What do you suggest? Get close to guard. Infiltrate the UNIA. Informants would be much better than just observing. Great suggestion. You'll have the resources that you need. Good. Agent Amos! What? We're good. And probably the perfect example in which this work is what he were able to do with the Nation of Islam and create the fractions of, uh, of uh, Malcolm X and the Honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad because he had had a former FBI agent who was still an FBI agent who had been in the Nation of Islam for almost 20 some years and at that particular time he was a national secretary who actually led the hit team to um, assassinate Malcolm X. Let Africa be our guiding star, a star of destiny. Yeah. No one knows the power of Africa's redemption, but it is coming. And it's in the wind. And one day, like a storm, it will be here. And when that day comes, all of Africa will stand together. And all of Africa will be free. Yes. Africa for the African. Oh. And above. <laughs> we must control the economy of our own community. Yes. We cannot let others control the jobs, the housing, the businesses, and the schools in our communities. We must pool our resources, control and use our resources to create our own jobs and help our own before we can help others. Yes. Yeah. How are you going to be involved in politics without controlling the economy of your own community? Yes. 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 These so-called Negro leaders of our people. They seem so willing to turn back the hand of progress at the whim of their white support. Yeah. We must not mistake lip service and noise for bravery. Mm -hmm. Any leadership that will cringe 
or hide and bow when the cloud seems dark are those that we must avoid in choosing as leaders. True leadership looks at dreadful odds and smiles at them for the cause that need assistance. Lift ye the heights of liberty and cease not until you are planning the banner of the red and the black, the black and the green upon Africa's hilltop. And so uh, Hoover developing the concept of information, I mean, uh, uh, um, infiltration and disinformation when they developed the FBI, because at that particular time they had just had the Justice Department. He brought this concept and he developed the counterintelligence program using the same concept. The counterintelligence program became COINTELPRO that came out when they, we, the Freedom of Information Act that exposed all of this. So I guess the reason that this, this is my favorite play because it's so important to understand that they still use this concept today. This is how they were able to break up the uh, groups like the Crips and the Bloods into so many different uh, war and fractions by using uh, Hoover's uh, Divide contact. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer, yes. I shall live in the physical as well as the spiritual to see the day of Africa's glory. When I am dead, wrap the mental, the red, the black, and the green all around me. For in the new life, I shall rise with God's grace and mercy to lead the millions up the heights and triumph with the colors that you well know. Look for me in the world, wind or storm. Look for me all around you. You are the masters of your own destiny, architects of your own faith. Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hand unto God. Africa for the African.